Talk about inspiring. Eric Weinmayer is going to extremes on some of the world's most dangerous mountains, canyons, and rivers. Now, he's relying on all senses except sight. It is an astounding journey after becoming blind, one of breaking records and boundaries. They're among the world's most spectacular and scariest places. And imagine conquering them all like this. I've managed to confront my fears, to take those fears and push them to the peripheries. The peripheries of the Earth, Everest, Denali, the Himalayas. How would you define what it is you're, you're seeking? I think I'm seeking universal human experience. Born with a rare eye disease, Eric Weinmayer's vision eroded as a child, and by the age of 13, he was completely blind. I felt like I was in this prison, and I didn't know how to get out of it. He quickly found his way out by tackling the improbable. I joined the wrestling team. Wrestling was empowering, and by senior year, he was team captain and headed to the Junior Olympics. What Eric didn't see couldn't hold him back. And then he heard of a blind climbing expedition. And I thought, that sounds so stupid. Who would ever take a blind kid rock climbing? <laughs> so I signed up. Pretty soon, he was hooked. There was a puzzle that I could discover in the rock. And I had to discover that with my hands and my feet, not with my eyes. His climbs became increasingly ambitious. We tried three mountains, Long's Peak, Rainier, Humphreys Peak. We didn't summit in any of them. But then we went to Denali. 1995, we summited. Eric set his goal on the world's highest peak, Everest. It was like, you know, embarking on this incredible journey of discovery. He coupled safety with a fierce determination, and in 2001, incredibly, Eric Weinmayer became the only blind person to reach the summit of Mount Everest. I remember counting my breaths and listening to the sound of space around me. Amazingly, that was just the beginning of more challenges. My life sort of turned into learning some insights into how to break through barriers. Leading blind children through Tibet, over the Andes, Eric carefully negotiated risk. And he hit another extraordinary milestone seven years after Everest, completing the seven summits, the highest mountains on every continent. The outdoors is the greatest laboratory I think we have on Earth. Always seeking a new adventure, Eric began to kayak. What made you decide to tackle kayaking? Well, I found myself on the banks of the Colorado River at 40 years old with my friend saying, yeah, I want to teach you how to kayak. It's going to be really cool. He loved it, and after years of training, with a team helping to guide him, Eric took on the Grand Canyon's daunting whitewater. 277 miles down the Colorado River in a single kayak, navigating some of the most terrifying rapids in America. An astounding feat. The river is a good place. You, you almost have to let go. Eric took me kayaking near his home in Golden, Colorado. This is how his team helps. All right, small right. By telling him what he can't see for himself. In No Barriers, a blind man's journey to kayak the Grand Canyon, Eric explains his internal voyage. I have had to figure out some alchemy, you know, how to take tough things and turn them around and make them into good things. And as a dad of two teenagers at home, Eric's facing a different kind of adventure. My kids are like, whatever, you kayak the Grand Canyon, it's like, are you going to cook dinner tonight? By choosing the path of most resistance, yeah. Eric says, that's how life's odyssey truly thrives. Look inside you, because that's what you got to grow, because that's your vision. You grow that thing inside, it'll blaze your path forward. He's truly an extraordinary man. So what's next for Eric? Well, he's tackling mountains in Italy this summer, and then he's got a long-running list for more adventures, including climbing ice ranges in Europe later this year, guys. Unbelievable. <laughs> he's amazing. That is incredible. Natalie, so cool. Great amazing. story. Yeah. Thank you so awesome, much. Man. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.